How's everyone doing today? In this video, we are gonna talk about why you should use green glue in your soundproof studio. So if you have been going back and forth and you're like, man, what is this green glue stuff? Do I even need to use it? Maybe you've read about it on the internet, but you're not sure it's worth all the money. It's kind of expensive. It looks sticky, it looks messy. But I'm gonna tell you some main reasons why you should use green glue. In my studio that I built in my backyard, it is a beautiful soundproof space and we use green glue on all the walls and on our ceiling. And I think it was a great choice. It definitely has helped with making the studio soundproof and all of the research that I could find also leans into that same point saying that yes, green glue will help. So I'm here to convince you why you should use green glue. Before we jump in the video, I wanna say if you wanna take a deeper dive into how to soundproof anything, but especially a home studio, definitely check out my free soundproofing course below. All right, let's jump into the video. <laughs> So the first question you're probably asking yourself is, what is green glue? So according to their website, I'm gonna paraphrase this a little bit, but let me tell you exactly what green glue is. Green glue is a noise damping product that dissipates structural vibrations. So kind of uh, like, uh, what does that really mean? Well, let's break it down a layer deeper and say, what in the world is damping? Cause damping is an important uh, term in the soundproofing and acoustic world of trying to reduce sound vibrations through your wall. So damping is, damping removes vibrational energy in a structure. So when sound hits your wall coming into your studio, it's gonna be having a level of intensity that is gonna transfer into the material of the wall. And that material will then start to vibrate at the intensity of that sound wave. And if it matches the vibrational frequency of the materials in the wall, then that sound will get amplified. So damping dissipates those vibrational frequencies and makes it so they're less likely to amplify and come through your walls. So it is a extra step in creating a soundproof wall. If you wanna learn more about soundproof walls, you can definitely check out my video on how to soundproof a wall. But in this video, we're gonna focus way more on just the green glue and damping. So before I get into some of the science and technical stuff that we're gonna look at here, some of the research that's been done, I just wanna show you how we use green glue in my studio so you get an idea of how it's applied in a practical sense. As you can see here, we are actually sucking the green glue out of a green glue pail through a special dispenser that the green glue company gives to you. What we then did is we took that green glue and we dispensed it on the back of our 5 8 inch drywall in an S pattern in both directions and then use extra dollops to kind of fill in any spaces. We left a little bit of space around the edges of the drywall just so we could handle it since it is a little tricky to uh, hang drywall if it's all sticky on the back. And you hang the drywall, the first layer you're gonna hang just like you normally would. You're not gonna mud it or do anything like that. The second layer of drywall is where you put that green glue on and then you just stick the drywall up and you still would screw that second layer into your studs as well but the stickiness will actually create this little tiny barrier in between and help with what we talked about earlier with that damping, the sound that gets dampened when it's coming through those two layers of drywall. So we did that on the ceiling of my studio as well, same exact process, and it's pretty simple in concept and you just adds a little bit more work, but as we will see later, it actually saves you a ton of money in the sense that it gives you better results than if you were just trying to add more and more layers of drywall. All right, so without further ado, let's jump into the actual test results. I'm gonna show you guys a PDF that was on the Green Glue website. Um, I'll have a link in the show notes so you can look at this exact same PDF with me or go over it in your own time. I just wanna show some specific data that they came up with. All right, so let's jump into the, the research that's been done. All right, so we are now in this other view where I can show you this PDF of green, green, excuse me, green glue versus extra drywall. So this is um, something that the green glue company did pay for, but they actually use the Orfield Laboratories, which is a certified independent lab in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So I just want to say that this is actually not biased towards them. This was done through a third party, um, and this is really common in the soundproofing industry to hire out your products to a third party independent lab so that it is hopefully as unbiased as possible. So 
What they did here is on the left, you can see that we've got two layers of drywall on each side of a wall without green glue. And then there's some regular pink insulation. And I think it's R13 insulation, fiberglass insulation in the middle. And then on the other side, you have a green glue assembly, which is two layers of 5 8 inch drywall, which is what I always recommend, the heaviest drywall. And then you can see that they have the green glue in between that drywall. So that's what they measured here. Um, let's take a look down at the graph and we can see the results of what happened. So the blue line is the conventional assembly. And we can see that the blue line underperformed the green glue line at every single frequency. And they made a little circle here just to show that in the base frequencies, this actually is making a huge difference. And, and I agree with that, you know, around 100 hertz, which is a really common frequency in recording music. It's where all the bass, your kick drum lives, subwoofer, things like any sub bass that you have is all going to live in that 100 hertz or lower. Um, so you definitely want that to be as soundproof as possible. It's also one of the hardest things to stop is low frequency bass information. So that is pretty huge. Um, on this column, you can see this is the transmission loss in decibels. So up here you have 40 decibels of transmission loss, meaning that without that traditional, without the wall, um, you'd have no transmission loss. And then this wall with this green glue thing is, is actually reducing sound coming through by 40 decibels. And then up here, this 65 decibels and beyond, looking at the 2,500 Hertz range, it doesn't even go above 5,000 Hertz, but a lot of information in that high frequency range honestly gets cut off because it's got such low energy because those waveforms are so short. So really this middle range is what we're mainly worried about with soundproofing. And as you can see, like I said, the green glue far outperforms just two layers of drywall without green glue. So it's making a difference. I'm going to continue down here because I just wanted to show you a couple other things. You guys can read that on your own time. But this was interesting too. This was some information they did with the green glue assembly again is in green at the top here. There's a prefab damp panel. Um, this would be some sort of drywall product most likely that comes with some sort of damping solution in it already. If you were going to buy like quiet rock, I believe that probably is considered a prefab damp panel. Um, so it does pretty well. You know, the red line, again, you have this pretty big difference around that low 200 to 160 Hertz range. Again, really important frequencies and then super big problem down in the low frequencies where the green glue significantly outperforms the prefab damp panel. And then these other ones, which is the mass loaded vinyl. And there's two different types of mass loaded vinyl. Limply hung simply means that there's a way that you can hang mass loaded vinyl where it's actually not taut. It's actually kind of got some waves to it. And then they have the MLV as this constrained layer. So that was putting the MLV sandwiched in between the layers of half inch drywall. It's interesting to note that this is all using half inch drywall and 5 8 inch drywall. So kind of funky why they did that. I don't know. But anyways, you can see that the green glue outperforms both of those uh, very significantly in this graph. So again, green glue is kind of winning the winning the contest here. And then I want to show you guys one last thing here. So this is just showing the cost of green glue with different panels. So you're paying $10.92 versus nine dollars for the same one so just a dollar more and then they go down uh, here to show you that your money that you're investing into this green glue wall is actually paying back in dividends in terms of the quality of soundproofing you're getting so cost per square foot per improvement in stc um, STC, in case you don't know, is just the sound transmission coefficient. It's a common measurement used in acoustic uh, soundproofing to show how well a, an assembly or system can reduce sound from passing through it. So anyways, this green glue is showing that, you know, 20 cents right here, you're getting way more soundproofing for your money, whereas you're going to have to spend way more money um, to get the same level of STC with these other options that they have here. So that is something to consider when you are talking about this green glue is like, yes, you may spend more money paying for the green glue, but you're going to get better results in the long run, which is what you're doing with soundproofing anyway. So you don't want to spend money and not get the results you wanted. So something to think about. All right. So let's go back to the other video here, but I just wanted to show you that 
there is some um, actual science behind this. It's not just, you know, a bunch of marketing stuff and, and sort of trying to convince you to pay for a product that doesn't actually work. All right, so back to the other video. All right, I hope you enjoyed this short, sweet video that should give you a little bit more knowledge on what Green Glue is, why I recommended it, and some of the research that has backed why it's actually a great product to add to your soundproofing system. So, like I said before, if you wanna take a deeper dive, I have a free soundproofing course in the notes below, so definitely check that out. You will gain a broader knowledge by jumping into this course, um, and you can also get on my email list through that course as well, where I give weekly videos like this and extra content for you. So, I will see you all next Monday. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great week. Thank you.